Hey there YouTube and thank you for tuning in to Assets Tech Tips. I've been asked to do a tutorial on how to set up a folder and share it on a local area network which is quite easy so without further ado I'll very quickly show you how to do it. First off choose a good location that's easy to get to to create a folder. Create a folder that you want to share on the network Once you've done that, right click on it and choose properties. Go into sharing, advanced. Click on share this folder. I'd recommend when you create a folder name, you have it with no spaces, something easy. You can change it again here. So like test, share. Won't make too much of a difference it'll still say the same here but the actual name of the share itself will change to test share step two you want to set up your users your permissions who can access who can't so you do that by going just a quick note when you set things you need to actually close the window for them to apply completely so now we're going to set permissions so we want to go back into sharing advanced sharing permissions come on now simple and easy give everybody full access that will allow everybody on your network full access to your share easy as cake if you don't want everybody on your network to have full access to the share you want to assign certain permissions get creative and so on then how you do it is like this. Now, what I'm about to show you applies to people who are using versions of Windows that are not home or premium. For all you home and premium people, hang on, I'll show you how to create your user accounts in a minute. For everybody else, right click my computer, choose manage, and then click on the snap on console for your user and groups. which is here. So basically you just right click new user whoever you want oops give Dave a password uh, I'm running out of creative names um, mm -mm. okay all right and then I'll do okay so we've got a couple of users here this is cool so now we can just simply go ahead and, and add them straight for instance like now for me to have access I'll need to add me as a user so sharing advanced permissions add, add and we want to get rid of everybody we want to add me check it works okay full access cool apply okay and close now I can easily go ahead and do that again and just add each person individually but if you'd like a little bit more control over your users just to show you another actually nice way of adding people if you cannot search for them automatically you can go to advanced find now and then scroll through and then you'll see ah, okay Anyway, to get back to what I was talking about, if you want a little bit more control, 
you can create groups. So let's just create a group. Let me go new group. Sorts that out. Nope, nope, friends. Okay, so you get the idea. You can basically set a preset defined rule for a group, and then to apply that rule to certain people, you just add that people to your group. And then you add your group to your share. So in this case, so we don't have a conflict, I will remove Dave and we shall add family. And uh, then there was Kev, yeah, so Kev. Now I want Kev to have change access, friends to have change access, family to have full access. Apply, okay, apply, okay. So it's an easy way, you can, you can get real creative, you can mess about and so on. For all you home users and premium users, to do that, you can't really get quite as many options as we can. But uh, to create your accounts, you just go to Control Panel, Users, Manage Other Account, and Create. So, create a new account. And we'll call the account Bob. Cool. So there's Bob, and then same way I showed the other guys, you go properties, sharing, advanced, permissions, add Bob. Okay, Bob's in, and we'll give Bob full control. Now that you've set up your permissions and your users, you want to make sure that you can access your share on the network. So to do that, you need to know what is your IP. This is the IP of the computer that you've created the folder on. So in this case, for our example, my computer, the one that I'm working on here. Let's say I don't know what my IP, is address, my IP address is and I want to find out. You can do that easily by holding down the Windows key and tapping R and typing in Okay, you need to get to the run box. So Windows key and R. For those of you who can't do that, hold down or tap the start button and type in run. It'll give you the same dialog box. Type in CMD and then IP config. Oh, my system's a little laggy today. So here we are, IP address, so that's the IP. Take a note of it, write it down, do what you got to do to remember it, and then go back to your run box and enter it in. So here what we're looking at is our shares, and you can see I'm sharing my printer and I'm sharing the test folder we created. He's noticed the, the share name. Actually, it might help if I put some stuff in it. So, what could we put in there? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Stick some drivers in there. So you can see, 
and here are whatever it is that you're sharing. Now, for people who wish to access this share from another computer, let's say Dave or Bob, what they would do is they would Windows key and R, type in that UNC. They would get a login screen when they press enter. And they would have to put in their username and their password and then they would see this screen. Now that can be a bit of a pain if you got to access the folder a lot. So to make life a little easier, I'm going to very quickly show you how to map it to your My Computer. So here we are. Now push the Alt key. See, we get options up here. Click on Tools. Map Network Drive. Choose a funky letter. And then enter in your share and IP. Browse. And there we are. So every time you go into my computer, you will have your test share. See? Oh, jumping around. There we are. Now, if you're not too happy with the way it looks there, you can always rename it, make it a little prettier. And so on. But that's basically how you do it. Alrighty. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that this has helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me a message on YouTube. Not a comment. I don't really respond to comments, but I do respond to my messages. And if you want an answer really quick, then send me an email. My email address is uh, chop chop. That is my email address. Okay, take care folks. Ciao.